Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you a few more tools in the manipulation tool in the assembly design in the KTAV5. So I'm going to open up assembly design workbench and uh, I'm going to the insert I'm going to uh, insert an existing component which I've created uh, just before my previous videos. So you can uh, uh, go through the videos uh, to know how I have created this part 1 and part 2 right here. So this part 1 is right here and I'm going to insert another component, existing component, click on the product and insert the next one, automatic rename, click OK. So insert I'll uh, go to edit, move, manipulate. So in here uh, you have a few more tools. If you go through my previous video you'll come to know how you can use this set of tools. So these tools, these three tools right here can come very handy when you do your uh, designs. So this tool right here is drag along any axis. So you just have to show the software in which axis you need to drag the object and the object is going to drag on that particular axis. So again select this, show the software which axis you want to do. So let's say I'm going to use this tool now, just drag along any axis once again. So click on this axis and it's going to move on only on that XY plane. So uh, let's say if I'm going to use select this and I'm going to show the software uh, edit manipulate and I'm going to show the software in this and it's going to move in that particular plane so if I show it from the front view you will uh, you know side view you'll better understand that it's moving in X Z plane so I'll go to the front view and uh, I'll move it so it's not moving on the right side so it's just like uh, it's been locked to the XZ plane so whichever plane how it works is edit manipulate and go to the drag along any plane and just show the software according to which plane you want to move the object and the object is going to move with respect to that particular plane so again we have another one right here the last one that is drag along any axis and that is you just have to show the software according to which axis which you want to rotate the particular object so I'm going to show the software uh, this axis and I can rotate the object with respect to this particular axis so isn't it cool that you can rotate uh, according to whichever axis which uh, you know you show the software so that's what uh, which helps uh, which this particular tool explains so i uh, hope you enjoyed my video this is about uh, manipulation and it's going to be very helpful for you for your upcoming assembly designs so thank you